<laughs> Today we are going to do one of my favorite meals that my mom used to always make because she was low key, a lazy bitch. No, I'm kidding. My mom was a, she used to work uh, a lot and didn't want to come home and cook for me. So she would just put shit together like the shit that was real simple and easy. The like one, two, three meals. That's what I like to call them. So this is pretty much what this is. And I've pretty much turned it to my mama because I'd be like, oh, I got to do this. I got to do this. And land then be like, bitch, I'm hungry. So what we going to eat? And I'd be like, mm, McDonald's. I don't want to turn it to the McDonald's mama. So I started calling her like, what's the shit that you used to cook for me when I was like two years old that I used to eat all the time? And then she just started telling me different stuff. And then I realized she used to, she still feed that shit to Landon. So that's what I'm making today. I'm making the um, pepper steak and rice instead of just re regular pepper steak. I'm going to add pineapple to it because it gives it like a little sweet and savory. You ain't, y'all ain't got to do it. It's up to y'all. That's what I'm going to do. And then on top of that, because I'm like in a cooking mood, I'm also going to get do buttermilk fried chicken. And I'm going to do, god damn, hey, I'm going to do um, some fried cauliflower. That's for the vegans. Ain't no vegans in here today in this house, but I always feel like I be leaving the vegans out with some of the meals. So I'm gonna do the, fr the fried cauliflower for y'all. Um, and then all the recipes are up on the site right now, except the fried cauliflower. Cause I just was at the grocery store and I was like, damn, I be leaving the vegans out. So I grabbed that. So the vegans could get that recipe later. So we shall begin. Hey, oh, I forgot to, well, I didn't forget to pin it. I think um, Plain is about to pin. Y'all already know the rules. Don't ask me nothing. Mm. My bad, don't ask me shit. Saturday, we doing a Jordan restock. We doing a restock of the hot sauces, okay? So anybody that missed out or if you need another bottle, I decide to restock all three sizes. So y'all can get the OG bottle, which is the, um, the, five, ounce, the five ounce bottle. You can get the 4.5 ounce bottle, which is this one, or you can get the 8 ounce bottle. So all of them will be, um, all of them will be in, um, yeah, on sale. All of them be on sale. Keys coming here throwing me off because he's asking questions when I just said the rules was don't ask questions. So I'm not about to play with him today. Um, Clayton did. He's going to pin it. On top, once he pinned it, then we can start. This recipe is really for Delilah because she wanted to learn how to make her drug dealing blue, uh, blue something other than what she be making him. Oh, she always be blanching all her vegetables. Delilah blanches everything, okay? I taught y'all how to blanch one day and she just been going crazy. So she been like blanching shit that she ain't got no business blanching. Like I think she blanched some fucking uh, cabbage the other day. I don't know. She just like, this is what I'm going to do. I'm struggling cutting the pineapples, man. Ah, see? So, y'all can get pineapples in the can if you want to. I started to because I ain't seen no pineapples in Ralph's. Um, but I was like, I found the organic one. So, self-checkout. Me, self-checkout. Y'all know how you get out. Um, I wasn't paying $4 for that organic pineapple. Not today. Not never. Okay? Um... My bad. Yo bad my ass. So uh if you need the if you need the recipe, the recipe is on the site. Other than that, you can try to be cheap and free and just try to watch what I'm doing and then emulate that shit on your own time because I, again I'm not telling y'all what actually goes into each one. But I will tell y'all for pepper steak, it's peppers, okay? It, yeah, yeah, that, that is peppers. It's peppers for the pepper steak. However you decide to remix this is up to you. The original pepper steak recipe be like what? Green peppers and that might be it or some shit. I don't know. I think pepper steak is supposed to be like a Chinese dish. Um, I, my whole life, I thought it was a black dish because my mama made it. And then I like really looked into the origins of it or some shit. And I was like, oh, damn. Chinese people do be eating this shit. I ain't never ordered pepper steak from a Chinese restaurant. Like, I order Ed Fu Young and shit like that. So, I mean, maybe I've just been off all my life. But in any case, 
peppers. You need peppers. You know, figure out what peppers you want to use. Um, Ralph's didn't have any green peppers today, so I had to just buy all different kind of peppers, color peppers, and you know, we just gonna make it work. I always tell y'all, I give y'all the basis for the recipe, the basic ass recipe, and then you can remix the shit however you want to remix it. It don't have nothing to do with me. I just told you what to do. Um, and yeah, that, that's how that honestly works. And for the cauliflower, the fried cauliflower, you pretty much just need, uh, the, the fried cauliflower isn't as bad as the trying to fry chicken. You pretty much just need um, the, what you call it, chickpea flour. And um, what do you call it? The regular flour, all-purpose flour. That's all I'm telling y'all for that. Other than that, you got to get the rest of the recipe on the recipe. And then, you know. Then you can learn the rest of it, okay? All right. Uh, uh, what we're drinking today is some shit that I had to buy last minute because I started reaching out to different, like, alcohol beverage companies and stuff like that. So we do have one on the way. We do have a, a low-key type of sponsorship situation. That's going to start next week. I was going to start it this week, but that would have meant I had to pay for it. And I'm not, not when you're going to give me some free shit. I'm not going to pay for it. Not, that makes no sense. So next week, I'll start saying what the brand is. This week, we got a Clayton special. Um, a little 18, what is it? A little 1800 with a little simply lemonade, razzle dazzle type of situation. I don't know. Um, woo! But it's pretty good. So anyway, for the last two hours, we've been, what you call it, what we've been doing in this? We've been brining this for like the last two hours. You did that four? Yeah, I did that four. So we've been brining our chicken for the last two hours. So now I can discard the, the brine and I can season it up, season my flour, and then we can go ahead and start frying that. While I'm frying that, I'ma also start the pepper steak and rice. My water is in the back boiling for the rice. Y'all know what I always add to my water for my rice or my pasta or whatever. Always add me a little razzle dazzle in there. A little, <laughs> a little chicken uh, bouillon. I always add that in there because I hate plain white rice. I feel like, why would you do that to white rice? I love rice, so I need it to taste like something, something. So, whatever. Mmm. Mmm. This looks good. Mm. You got a strainer. Of course, we are not in my kitchen. But we are in my kitchen, because this is my kitchen on Thursdays now. So, I need to start making sure that the shit that I need is in the kitchen. Because clearly, the, um, we need to take the, the brine off the chicken. Alright, so what was I doing? Oh, my rice. I'm gonna add my rice in. Sometimes I use a measuring cup for my rice. Sometimes I just do what my grandma used to do and I just pour all the rice over into the uh, pot. I honestly just learned how to make rice like last year. I used to fuck rice up. And people be like, damn, how you fuck up rice when that's the easiest thing to do? Because I'm a bitch that plays chess, not checkers. Okay, I know how to, I'll beat your ass in chess. And checkers, I'll be like, should I move to the left, to the right? How you play this shit, you gotta move back. I'm, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a basic level, I'm not a basic level queen. I'm, I'm, I'm a chess queen out here, okay? Whatever, whatever the fuck that means. I don't know what nothing that in this house. I need a big spoon too. Look, I don't know what nothing happened in this house. I'm just here to cook and get drunk at this point. <laughs> I wish y'all could see what's going on behind the scenes. Um, Carl is here with his video and he's videographer for free. Okay. What are you talking about? Woo! Okay. So rice is on boom, right? I told y'all, I just realized that people don't know how to fry chicken, and that shit is very fucking depressing to me that people can't fry chicken. I'm like, what type of shit is that? Never heard of it in my life, but I guess it's real. So, I'll show y'all a little, you know, 
of a, a, a secret that ain't really a secret. So I learned how to fry chicken from, not my grandma, from Patty LaBelle, okay? Patty LaBelle herself taught me how to fry chicken. I'm lying, okay? I'm fucking lying. I bought the bitch cookbook, uh, maybe. <laughs> I bought the bitch cookbook when I first uh, had landed because I was like, my chicken weak as hell. And I bought her cookbook and I started reading her cookbook recipes and I'm like, damn, this fried chicken is actually really good. And I had to realize how she was making it, like make it crispy and shit. She had uh, eggs. So she was dipping the chicken in the eggs and then taking that and then dipping it back in the flour. So I was like, damn, I'm going to because you know black families they just put the flour on the chicken we ain't doing that today we 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 is upgraded in this bitch so i ain't gonna use no eggs because ebt ran out what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the rest of this buttermilk that we got though and i'm gonna use that so always always my niggas always oh, i gotta stop saying niggas because it's racist i'm a racist i just found out i'm a racist um Always my good people, my kings and queens of um, Zamunda, Wakanda, wherever you're from, Mexico, uh, Ghana, uh, Korea, kings and queens all over the land. Um, always season your flour. That's why y'all chicken be nasty as hell because y'all only season y'all flour. And it be pissing me off, okay? So find out what season is you like. Or actually what you can do is don't find out what season what season is you like, okay? Wait on me to come out with this seasoning line so you hotel. Bitch, your mama's hotel. Wait to, uh, um, to, uh, one second, please, guys. <laughs> Woo! Um, uh, tell me out, please. Tell me out, please. Move, move that one to that side, the, the right. All right, anyway, what was I saying? I forgot. Yeah, I'm hotel. All right, whatever, Delilah. Um, I don't know what the fuck I was saying. Make sure you season your flour because y'all chicken be nasty. That's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I, be, I got what I need. I got what you want. So all I'm doing is seasoning my flour a little bit. Um. Making sure, you know, because once I bread it, I don't want my shit to come out bogus as hell, pretty much. I just learned to do it that way last year. Oh, okay. So, I be cooking chicken for all these black people out here. And they be like, damn, how you, why your chicken so good? And I be like, uh, I use seasoning in the flour. So, I realized that that's what a lot of people don't do. And I just gave y'all that trick because I really don't be wanting to tell y'all shit like this. I be wanting y'all to keep making nasty ass chicken so people can just pay me. But then I realize I don't even really want to cook for people no more. So now I want y'all to make good chicken so they can leave me the fuck alone. So yeah, call on your ancestors. Ask them how much seasoning you should be using and how much flour. Because honestly, I don't have any measurements to give y'all. I don't know. I'd be like, Ruby, is you here? She'd be like, yeah, and then we cook together. So I, I hope your grandma knew how to cook. If your grandma did not know how to cook, you just fucked up in the game. Okay. So I seasoned that. I also want to put some seasoning on the chicken, some seasoning. It's a chef that I be watching on here, and he be, and the person be like, you add a little bit of blah, blah, blah. And then you see him pouring it over, and it be a whole lot of a little bit. I'm like, God damn, I'm gonna get everybody diabetes in this bitch. But I mean, you know, put a little bit of seed, a little razzle dazzle. <laughs> That's all I got for y'all. Add a little razzle dazzle, okay? You know, this is this is one of my favorite seasonings. You put that shit on everything. Like I put the the um the hot sauce on everything. I put that seasoning on everything. Boom. Okay. So, the, another reason why y'all can't fry chicken, right, is because what I realized is y'all heat, y'all fire on the stove, y'all pan, don't be high enough. So, y'all be taking that chicken out and it be raw as hell. And that ain't got shit to do with me either, but I just want to let you know that I peaked, that's what be going on. 
And so I wanted to tell y'all that that ain't cool. So make sure your fire is, uh, it's like 350. But who the fuck has a thermometer to see if they fire is 350? Cause I don't. So what I be doing is I be looking at the, the grease and I be making sure it's a little ripples in it. And then I do the water test, right? Remember I told y'all the water test was like, put a little water on your fingers and it sounds ready to go to me. I don't know about y'all, but that's, what, that's usually what it sounds like. So it's ready. And what I'll do is I take my chicken, right? I'm gonna just use my fingers. I don't even know why I'm acting bougie right now. They saying something. I can't read what y'all saying because I'm, I'm nearsighted far sided I don't know what side it, but the phone is far. So, I mean, maybe Clayton will tell me what y'all was saying. I don't know. Good rule of thumb for measuring season is the use of tablespoon of each and mix in the bowl and then I have layers of the pan. I don't do all that, sorry. I, uh, that good rule of thumb is for somebody else. My rule of thumb is at your ancestors. Like, you know how, how you like your food seasoning, so you be like, Grandma, is this enough? And then she be like, yeah, that's it. And then that's it. Like, I, yeah, a, a tablespoon, teaspoon of everything. Sure, that's great. Anyway, woo, so yeah. So what I do is I take the, I take the chicken and I dip my shit in the flour, boom, boom, coat it like that, bam, bam. Go ahead and I'll like put it in the buttermilk and then I'll dip it in the flour again, okay, boom. Shake it off, cause his loving ain't the same, cause he keep on playing games. Bam. So then I'll add it back to the flour to coat it again. This is a messy process, so um, I would say use some tongs, cause that's what I'm about to do in a second. Um, cause I got other shit to cook, so I don't want to be real ghetto. But if I was just cooking this by my like and nothing else, I wouldn't really care. But pretty much. This is how my fingers look, and that look nasty. So, bam, all right, I got them in there. Look, Clayton put the tongs out for me and everything. Look, finally, helping me. All right, bam, I got that nice and nice and juicy you feel me bam you're gonna go ahead and throw that in the skillet the party wings, okay? Y'all know I play games with people, so I buy the regular wings and then I cut them in half and make them party wings. He decided, fuck all that, I'm about a party wing, so that's kind of what happened with that. So they ain't gonna take that long to cook it all. They can be playing real bald head, dark skin nigga game. <laughs> it's hot as shit in this kitchen, so I'm glad that my hair is already like this, because it's definitely gonna turn into a fro. Okay, you can dip it in the butter milk first and flour. Cause I know they say don't ask no questions. Do it say don't? It say don't ask me shit. I think it do. I think it do. I ain't sure. This is all right. You got a uh uh. Ma'am, you can make it to according to whatever recipe that you want to do, okay? This is how I do it. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just showing you what I do. So, I mean, because that's why I be saying don't ask me no questions because y'all be throwing me off. Y'all be like, can I do it like this? Because that, that ain't what my recipe say. Like, if you buy my recipe, my recipe kind of tell you what to do like this, like these, like these, like these. So, you know, you can handle it, you know, it's your, your way, Burger King, whatever you, yeah, that's what we on. So anyway, 
Because, I mean, that's why I be putting the don't ask me shit on there. But, you know, I realize y'all motherfuckers don't listen to nothing. I'll say no way. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm just going ahead and I'm doing this part of it. This is what I would normally do. Clayton just made this a lot easier for me. Because he gave me this suggestion so I could go ahead and get it out the way. So, yeah. Boom. Boom. You know. However you want to do your chicken, totally up, it's totally up to you. Totally up to you, my dude. But today, this is how I'm going to do my chicken. Okay, my chicken, mine. Hi. Yeah, I, I turned that fire up too high for those wings, but it's fine. The other one's gonna be cooked, okay? So right, I flipped it in the flour. So I, I, I brined, I brined, I brined for a couple hours. I dipped it in the flour and then um, I coated that good. I dipped it back in the buttermilk, boom. There was something I added to the buttermilk um, to brine it. It wasn't just straight buttermilk. If y'all want the recipe though, y'all want to know what else I did to it. There's a, um, there's a website that I have. Um, it's called www.whatsonthemenu.com. There's a few recipes on there, and it's one called Buttermilk Chicken Recipe. And so you can get exactly what I did there. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how that happened. These, the first three wings, they're a little suspect. Um, Clay, what you say? The, flir the first three wings that I just put in there, they're a little suspect because the fire was a little bit too hot. I was talking shit about y'all and I did the same thing that I be judging people for. So my fire was a little bit too hot, but I turned my fire down. So we should be back in business. They said people don't, I don't know what y'all saying. Clayton got to tell me what y'all saying because I can't read the comments. They feel bougie because they, they got a deep fryer. Mm -hmm. I mean, go ahead then. Like if that's what you want, you you can use the deep fryer. Me personally, I like to keep my old school with the cast iron skillet. Um, but I ain't gonna lie, I've been lazy. I mean, bougie and <laughs> use the deep fryer so. I don't judge you. Do you? Do you play it? Playboy? I need something to put the done chicken in, like a, a Playboy or bowl or something. Uh, paper towel. Alright, so then we're going to put the rest. I'm going to put the rest of the chicken in there in a second. So that's pretty much how that goes. Okay. Boom. I'm sure it's somebody in this house that like their wings a little well done, and that's what these these three over there are well done in the motherfuckers. They ain't burnt burnt, but they definitely well done. So that's what that is right there. So while those are frying, I'm gonna just finish um, finish up my peppers for the pepper steak. Pepper steak really doesn't take that long. It's the um, Pretty much the prep part that, for me, that takes the longest. Everything else is a nice little second. I forgot the, so with the pepper steak, I usually add, um, I usually cut up fresh ginger for it. Uh, Ralph didn't have any fresh ginger. So I'm gonna see how this ginger, this powder ginger tastes. I mean, it ain't gonna be too far off, but you know, usually when you have the fresh shit, you can taste the difference in it. So, but we ain't got that today, so we got to use what we got to get what we want. Ronnie Hope post work for everything. You got to use what you got to get what you want. Like I didn't have green pepper, so now I got orange and yellow, but you know, it ain't gonna be too far off. It's, 
It's gonna be a little remix. It's a, it's a little remix situation. I feel. Um, uh, playing her to the same shit. <laughs> no. So what my grandma used to do to let her grease cool down, like if her fire was too hot, she would put a couple ice cubes in the grease to let it cool down faster. I ain't doing all that shit because I ain't trying to die today. I don't know how I don't know how that lady used to cook like that. That's insane. My, what my what my ass gonna do? I'm gonna turn the fire down or off for a little while before I put anything else in there. Like I ain't I ain't that fucked up about it. I ain't that hungry to be putting no ice cubes and no hot ass grease to cool that shit. Down. Like what was they thinking back in the day? Fucking insane. Look, don't try that shit at home because I don't want y'all to talk about Tina said put some ice cubes and no the fuck I did it. I said my crazy ass grandmother used to put ice cubes in her hot ass grease to cool it down. Fucking retarded, okay? That, that's what I said. Um, thank you very much. I didn't tell y'all to do that, don't do it. She also used to play spades with bitches that would cut their husband neck, like slit their throat if they cut them out. So, it, they, they, was living on different they was living on different times. Exactly, they was crazy as shit. They was living on different times back then. And I ain't, I ain't on that type of time. I ain't gonna lie to you. So yeah, pepper steak. I got my peppers. Boom, right? Do I want to cut up this one more? Mm, nope. And I got my onions. Peppers and onions. I'm gonna do the onion the same way I did the, uh, the peppers. I think the Lila over there trying to cook along. So I hope she ain't dead yet. Uh, but yeah. Damn, I don't feel like strug struggling with that pineapple neither. The pineapple stressed me out. Trying to cut pineapples. Woo! That should be a whole nother situation. So I, I'm not a I'm not a cute. I don't like to bake and I also don't like to cut fruit. Those are two things. I don't like to do nothing where it takes precision and time and like I ain't. I ain't that type of chick. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like, she cut herself. Did she say it? See? I knew it. Cause she had got too quiet. <laughs> Woo! She said she ain't got the rich knives. She said what? She ain't got the rich people knives. So Delilah, you got rich people bags, but not the rich people lives. We on a different we on different time right now. We on quarantine time. So what you need to do is you need to tell your drug dealer boyfriend that you've been cooking for that you need some new knives if he want to eat. Have him get you the five hundred dollar knife set, or have him get you. Yeah, you start with the like four five hundred. Cause I was gonna tell you to get the one that like a lot of chefs and shit that I know get. It's like a five hundred dollar knife. You don't need that. That ain't what you need. Just go ahead and get you a little nice knife set and cook the salmon that your ass been cooking and make him think that you're doing something different. Um, so I'm gonna start the pepper steak now. Even though Clay cut my rice off. I just don't, I like, well, this is decent, but I like my chicken to almost be perfect, like, brown, this got a little, it's too, a little bit too brown at the bottom, and I want to start over. <laughs> Let's start over. How it tastes? It's decent, right? Right. So, it looks like, you know, this is what your skin looks like when you brine it, and... You take it out, you uh, put it a little bit in the flour, and then you put it, wait, 
brine it, flour it, dump it back in the, uh, another bowl of buttermilk, and then put it back in the flour. Your, your skin be a little bit different. It's a little bit crispier. That shit good. I ain't gonna hold y'all. That shit. It'll be a little bit crispy. It'll be a different texture. It don't be the hero chicken texture. That, but I love hero chicken. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But sometimes, you know, you gotta give it a little something different. That's if you want to give it a little something different. Now, if you don't want to give it a little something different, you can take it straight to the flour. You don't have to double dip it. You can take it straight to the flour. I'm not fucked up about that situation either. I was just pretty much trying to show y'all something different. But clearly, little fire's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> little fire's everywhere. You say what? He was hungry, hungry. It's, it's, I mean, it's a couple more pieces over there. You still hungry, hungry? Hold on, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, one second, one second. It ain't bleeding, it ain't, it ain't bloody, is it? So you do it. All right. So I went and threw them other ones in there. What we drinking tonight? Um, 18, Clayton. Clayton special. Uh, Clayton special. He said we can't say what we drinking no more. If we pay up for the product. So yeah, we got we got a plate special right here with a couple Tequila. frozen strawberries in it. Tequila. Tequila. Of course. Mm-hmm. It's good. I'ma be drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it's good. So I just want to add a little grease, a little vegetable oil to my skillet that I'm going to go ahead and cook my peppers in a little bit. Boom, boom. I'm going to cook them in there. Huh? Hmm? You still need that bowl? This one? Mm -hmm. No, because you, you, if you want to do this, we can just do this to make this easier. I show, I show up in the process for the buttermilk chicken, so... We don't need that no more. All right. So, what are y'all asking? Hey, naturalista. Girl, don't call me that shit no more. I have not deserved to own that name. My name is Tina. I do not want to be called naturalista. I ain't, I ain't with the movement like that. I ain't gonna lie to you. I just was trying to think of an easier way to make my hair work for me and not me work for my hair, but shit. This natural journey, y'all some fucking liars. And by the time you finish adding all the product, you ain't natural no more. I thought you were supposed to be able to wake up and go, shit. Shit me. Every night, every night I gotta fight. Every night I gotta twist this up, wet it. Twist it, put a rod at the end, then you gotta wake up, untwist it, put some oil on it. Woo! I'm gonna straighten this shit out real soon. Real, real soon. Well, I'm gonna get some braids, because y'all natural, y'all naturalista, y'all real naturalista. Hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. Not for me. Um, you can wake up and do and go, but it won't look like a girl, a fool. Sound like sound like you in the color purple, Delilah. You can kiss my you can kiss my ass, Delilah. So pretty much, I'm making cauliflower chicken wings over here. Okay, that's what this is what the vegans eat. They call this cauliflower chicken wings. I ain't shit chicken about this cauliflower, but just call the shit fried cauliflower. Don't, don't be talking about no vegan chicken. No, I hate it. Not vegan chicken, ma'am. It's not. Cause my thing is, if you decide 
decided to go vegan, that means you didn't want no chicken. You don't me understand it. Like they play too much. Alright. The vegans be playing way too much. I hate fake meat. <laughs> I don't hate fake meat. <laughs> Woo! Hold on. Because during this quarantine, fake meat been helping me make it through. Oh, they talk about fake chicken. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I do like Beyond Meat, though. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like, I had one client, I made a, um, I made him some Beyond Meat meatloaf. Like, so I usually make this dry turkey meatloaf and I'll put it with like some, um, some mashed sweet potatoes. And I decided to do it with Beyond Meat for him. Just to see like, cause his wife was vegan. I didn't know how it was gonna turn out. They fucked that shit up. They ate that shit more than they ate the, um, the regular meat and shit, so. I'm like, it couldn't have been too bad, you feel me? But Beyond Meat was my friend be before they started putting that, they started marbleizing it, and that shit looked weird as hell to me. So I'm like, eh, I don't know, I really want that. Nah, nah, it's for y'all to do that. Y'all fucked up the gas. So my peppers are cooking. We're gonna let my peppers cook for about three minutes. chicken okay what you do is you just uh cut the shit up pretty much like this look look, look, look at a little vegan vegan chicken wing look at look at a little vegan chicken wing tina i like your look and vibe tonight you look real cute i must look like a queen Let me check my 
chicken, guys. Come on over. Mm -hmm. Woo. So y'all know what I teach my white followers when they fry in chicken and what I realize I need to start doing with my black followers because some of y'all can't cook chicken either. If you're cooking party wings, that's the easiest way to start. And you know how your chicken is done by how it rises in the oil. So if it's floating, I'm floating. Floating, then I'm floating. If it's floating, then that means it's, uh, it's done. I need, clay, I need a Clayton drink because I see it working. You ain't here. You ain't here. I ain't even drunk yet. We got you got another bowl. Clayton know me. I could probably scoop it up. Put you could put these in the little bowl and then I could put those in that bowl. Delilah, what are you struggling with? I'ma just have to pay for the private lesson. I'ma kill. I'ma kill myself. I think she meant self by. Um, yeah, Dayton is de Clayton is definitely a Capricorn. I don't know how the fuck y'all knew that. You told me he's a Capricorn? Damn. Damn. Who was that? Who knew he was a Capricorn? You you in touch with spirit? God, damn, how did y'all know that? Cause he helpful? Cause I didn't dated some Capricorn men that wasn't helpful. So what happened? Hmm. Because I'm a Capricorn. Girl, shut up. His mannerisms. Let me let me look at him and see. Hold on, y'all. Capricorn mannerisms. Okay, I can see that, but Clayton a different type of Capricorn. Because the other men that I know that's Capricorn, girl, they don't be wanting to help with shit. Wow. Oh, uh, oh, it's she say, she say, Kathy and what? Been trash her book. Mm -hmm. They been trash. They definitely trash us. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I mean, but not Clayton. I, I already said you was a different type. Stop trying to put me out. <laughs> Stop trying to put. Stop trying to put me out. Okay. 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 Don't put me out. Don't put me out. I can't say that. That's our So. For my peppers, I like to leave a little crunch to it, okay? Mmm. Leave a little crunch to let you know you kind of still eating healthy. And plus, like usually when I make pepper steak or something, we're going to eat this shit for five days anyway. So I definitely want to keep a little crunch to it because I'm putting it in the microwave. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna add a little bit more oil before I put my steak in there. So all I did was I removed my, I sauteed, whatever, these peppers and shit. I didn't put no salt and pepper on that. I shouldn't even be telling y'all what I put on this shit at this point, because the recipe is available. So yeah, my bad y'all, I'm telling y'all too much. Um. Wow, they still talk about Capricorn. They still talk about Capricorn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just ate. And the sizzle making me hungry again. Mm -hmm. um, I thought you bought him a little pink sea salt. You didn't get none? Child. He ain't got no Himalayan pink sea Oh my God. You be in Trader Joe's and ain't bought no Himalayan pink sea salt yet? He... He definitely a Capricorn. Trash. <laughs> Trash ass fuck. Um, quiet class, I'm trying to learn. Now Delilah want to tell everybody to be quiet. That's fucking mm -hmm. hilarious. Usually, she's the one keeping up the bullshit in the class. So, Delilah, because I know you over there cooking, just season your steak with a little salt and pepper. You ain't really got to add too much to it. Um, I'm going to put, you know what, salt, pepper, garlic powder. My bad. My bad, G-Ball. My bad. Delilah, you should have had the recipe because if you had the recipe, you wouldn't be struggling right now. 
The recipe is available for those that are about to ask me in a few minutes, because I know. Yeah, right, Delilah holding on to the last eight fingers she got, because the bitch was thirsty. She couldn't wait. Woo! I tell ya. Um, so yeah, I'm just I'm just seasoning my um my steak up a little bit, guys. That's all I'm doing here while my grease gets hot in my pan, my skillet over there to the back of me. Um, then I'm gonna add my steak. And I'm only gonna cook my steak for a good five to six minutes. You feel me? And after that, I would usually add um, a little garlic and a little ginger. But I don't have any ginger today, okay? I don't, I don't have any ginger. But I got some ginger, ground ginger. Okay, hey, don't have me fresh. I had some garlic. I think it fell out of one of the bags. I think. So this is how I usually like my chicken to look. This is how, oh yeah, I forgot you got that. Ooh, ooh, that's a Capricorn. Ooh, 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 ooh that's the Capricorn in them. Ooh, ooh, okay, Clayton. <laughs> Clayton, you out here. Okay, y'all. I'm going to just show y'all the couple pieces of chicken I made. I'm going to keep going with it. But I'm trying to razzle-dazzle this up for y'all. Hold on. I'm going to razzle that. Mm. Come here. Come, come, come. Come, baby, come, baby. Baby, come, come. Y'all know that's all? Damn. So, yeah. That's what happens to the chicken when you brine and dip and dip and brine and dip and dip and dip and brine. Boom, 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 boom. That's how it's supposed to look. Okay, y'all see? Y'all see it? The other one was a little suspect. I hid him underneath. He was a little bit too brown for me, but Clay said he was fire. So I'm gonna make some more though. I'm gonna make some more in one second. Ooh, it's hiding a bitch in here. Yes, K7. I don't know what y'all say. Um, all right, so I'm going to add my steak now, okay? <clears throat> so again, you cook your steak for about five to six minutes. All you hookers... And Negroes that like, oh, I'm trying to see if Clay was telling me to, who is Clay? Girl, I'm so tired. Y'all supposed to be in here for me. Why are y'all asking about him? Somebody said I'm producing the show. <laughs> right, Clayton is fucking the producer. He's goddamn PR. He's goddamn social media manager. He's everything. Clayton get the best. Don't get that. <laughs> Clayton get the best ultimate uh, uh, Ultima can alter. That's what I'm going to get him. When I start buying Ultimas for my friends, Clayton is the first in line. He's going to get the best one. I'm going to get him an Ultima and put a Bentley symbol on that bitch. You me. What you talking about? No, I'm not. Dead ass. You're going to get a matte black Ultima because you look like a matte black nigga. I'm going to get you a matte black Ultima. With the Bentley symbol. <laughs> and if you be ungrateful, I'm going to get the Crips to beat your ass. Because that's how I usually threaten people. I'd be like, oh, you ain't going to include me? I'm getting the Crips to beat your ass. I almost Because the GDs, they don't beat ass. They just shoot you. I, I don't want you dead. I just want somebody to beat your ass. I'm going to call the Crips. Sorry. Um, so all right. This is the rest of my chicken over here, guys. I, I'm just uh, trying to add my chicken in there while my steak cooks for five or six minutes, Delilah. What'd she say? Definitely a matte black nigga. Yeah. See, I, I be knowing. I know what type of toxic niggas I'm dealing with, okay? He's matte black toxic. He definitely ain't blue. I feel like we classmates for real. I ain't seen you. What? Y'all crazy as shit. What's the mm -hmm. So don't let your steak cook for 
for five or six minutes without stirring it up though. Like, you want all sides brown. I feel like I needed to say that because some people, y'all really can't cook. So y'all would have just let it sit there for five or six minutes like, why the other side ain't brown? Because you didn't, you didn't flip it over, you didn't do nothing, you didn't stir it, nothing. Weird. But I'm not judging, because I said I was going to be nice, nicer to y'all after I went through my natural hair trauma. And I honestly shouldn't be helping Delilah right now, because when I was going through my natural hair trauma right now, uh, yesterday, she was trying to keep me down. Unless I do it from the what's on the menu page, right? Mm -hmm. huh. 
smart man. Claims definitely a Capricorn. All the Capricorns I know are, are pretty smart. They might be um, toxic. They might be ain't shit, but they be pretty smart. They be having like jobs and like techie fields and shit. Like, I'm an engineer. Or, you know, I run the, the mechanical race for Alpine. I don't even know what the fuck I just said. I work for CDW. They be like, they be having jobs like that. They don't be like, they don't be like me. I'm, I'll be like, I'm a customer service rep. They don't do shit like that. Um, yes, we are smart. Mm -hmm, girl, very. Um, I got, what I got? I got one minute and 30 seconds left. So what I have to do is I'm going to have to sign out and then I'm going to have to sign back on. So, Lou Boosie does not have a live tonight, guys. Neither does Tory Lanez. And I know that's how you guys like to get down. But, no, no, no. Come, come back here. Come back so we can finish. <laughs> Come back so we can finish, guys. Okay? Clayton's gonna restart in, in, in one right now. 